<laughs> Week 9, Fantasy Football Update, boys and girls. Hold on to your pants. It's going to be a bumpy ride this week. Whew. All right, all right, let's get it started. Let's get right into it, man, because we got Holt 45 versus Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife, Hide Your Team, Peter, because you just got beat by Scotty Holton. Woo, I crushed you, man. Um, Mark Ingram had 30 points. He went off. Uh, Mike Wallace had like a 90-yard touchdown. He went off. Antonio Gates, 13 points, highest of the season. You know, Holton had a pretty solid game all around, but his team is still pretty weak. He's tied for eighth right now. You know what? That's not 12th. So that's an improvement for this team. Uh, hide your kids, hide your wife. He drops to five and four, but still had strong performances from Matty Ryan. Uh, Jordy Nelson did well. That's about it. Le'Veon Bell's on his team, though. Uh, Tommy. Peter's team is uh, still pretty stacked. I think everyone can see that. He is uh, three games back, tied for fifth right uh, now. Basically, Peter, just how I'm feeling right now. All right, next on the docket, we got Brandon, Dylan Panthers, versus Chudley Cannons. That's Bethany. Uh, Brandon's team is strong. He pulls this one out, 115-98. to 98. Not a bad game from BT. Uh, Jameis Winston, 21 points. Jimmy Graham went off, 22 points, highest of the year. Uh, Antonio Brown, Moncrief, average days, but... Uh, they really need an exceptional day from one of those two to beat Brandon because uh, he has Mike Evans, Julio Jones, Frank Gore. I mean, that that's a pretty solid running back one-two punch at receiver. You know what I mean? And uh, Kobe Fleener's on his bench and no one else is on his bench. But Brandon's six and three. He's uh, tied for second, and uh, he's got a he's a guy he's got a team. Matter of fact, if you're not careful, Brandon might just leap into first place. Uh, BT, on the other hand, is 3-6, and six, tied for 8th, and uh, got a strong team, but it's going to be tougher to make the playoffs at this pace. All right, who do we got next? We got Ryan McGurney, I like Bortles, versus Mackenzie Walker, Team Dubs. I'm throwing it's Team Dubs now. Um, this was not a pretty game by any stretch of the imagination. Mackenzie pulls it out, 86-73. to 73. Over Ryan, uh, she had big days from Russell Wilson. I'm sure she's happy about that Seattle connection. Uh, Delaney Walker, 10 points per the usual. Uh, Michael Thomas, though, went off for 19 points. Very good, McKenzie. Um, on the other hand, Ryan, Blake Bortles, 21 points. I guess you're loving that. But other than that, got no production from uh, Rashad Jennings, your starting running back. Uh, Brandon Marshall, CJ Prouse. For Seattle, who the hell is that, man? Um, who's on your bench? David Johnson's on his bench. You know, it's uh, Ryan's got a strong team, but, you know, David Johnson on a bye this week. Uh, maybe doesn't do so hot week before. Ryan's 2-7. and seven. He's currently in last place. Last place. Last place. Sorry, Ryan. Maybe it's the water out there. But uh, McKenzie, on the other hand, 3-6. and six. How is she in second place? She's tied for second place uh, two games back. But, hey. I ain't going to be mad at you for winning, so keep on doing what you're doing. And uh, Ryan, you need help quick. And now it's the game of the week. 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 Everyone saw this one coming. We got Gotta Catch Them All. That's Sir William versus Honey Punches of Votes, Team Obanieski. And uh, Marta came in 8 0, but it had to happen sometime. She has dropped this game to Will Hawk. 133 is the high score. And Marta comes up short at 110.4. Now, let's start on the winning side here, Will. Uh, I mean, you traded for J.H.I., great trade, had 19 points, but he's half the story. Latavius Murray, 30 points, had three touchdowns in that Denver game. Uh, Drew Brees apparently is still killing it. I didn't realize, but the guy can play quarterback and put up some numbers. Uh, Stefan Diggs, only 9.2 points. He could have went off for even more. So, you know, Will had high score this week. Congratulations to that. Now, Marta, oh, so sorry for you. Marcus Mariota, 25 points. But uh, Devontae Booker, three points? That was a smart play last week. But, you know, maybe you should switch that. Marta just basically got blindsided like this little kid. Okay, we're going to keep it rolling here. The next game is going to be Sam I Am. Sammy. All right, we're going to keep on rolling in here. The next game, Sammy I Am, Craig Chrysler versus Team Kristen. Uh, Kristen is going to 
eke this one out, 104-90. to Well, we win it pretty handily, but played well. Aaron Rodgers went off. Ezekiel Elliott is the real deal. But some couple notable substitutions. Tim Hightower had 16 points. Uh, and Trustin Ebron with 9.2 points as you tie it in. I mean, got the job done. Uh, she did this with Gio on a bye, uh, LeGarrette on a bye, Tyler Eifert on a bye. Uh, so this team is six and three in second place and has options. Is going to be a force to reckon with. Uh, Craig, on the other hand, three and six, tied for eighth. Uh, I don't see much here that I like except um, Tyrod Taylor. <laughs> That's the only bill on your team I like, and you full of bills, man. You got way too many. You should drop a couple of those guys. Uh, maybe Crowder can come back and help you next week. Ninety points isn't, uh, you know, is. Not going to get it done versus team. And last, but definitely not least, is Driller than Spiller, Ange versus a team has no name, which would be Shane. Uh, man, these teams are struggling right now. Shane's four and five, Ange is three and six, but uh, Shane's going to pull this one out 99 to 70. Now, um, Shane's led by Dak Prescott, the rookie. How about them Cowboys? Uh, Melvin Gordon, 32 points, had a game versus Tennessee this week. Um, she does have Emmanuel Sanders, Jordan Reed on the bench. So Shane is tied for seventh. Oh, no, she is seventh, four games back. She's just outside the playoff picture. She needs a strong uh, last quarter of the season push. And on the other hand, uh, 70 points. I mean, Jason Witten was your only real performer. Uh, you've got Cam and waiting for him to turn it around but it just hasn't done it yet um ryan Tannehill is your another option but other than that matt jones matt aziata tj yeldon not gonna get it done uh and if you want to make a trade i'm down let me know i make trades all day i make the best trades um but these teams are in opposite directions both on the fringe of the playoffs they can just smell it but it's going to take a little bit more than what they got on their teams right now. But I hope, wish y'all the best luck next week. And now, sit back and enjoy the sweet sights of week nine. Don't let nothing hold you down. Nothing hold you down, down. Don't let